Over the last 20 years, Mozambique has been one of the fastest growing economies in Southern Africa. And this is mainly due to uh, two factors. One is the end of the civil war. The second thing is that a lot of foreign direct investment then poured in, in Mozambique. A lot of uh, investment in infrastructure, basic infrastructure, water sanitation, but also investment in mining sector. Mozambique has got a lot of challenges. One challenge is in the agricultural sector. We have been producing mostly for domestic consumption. With South Africa now willing to get into the biofuel market, Mozambique sees an opportunity to tie the energy market with agriculture, which has been struggling for a while in terms of productivity. Our research showed that uh, Mozambique has got um, great potential. We have got comparative advantage, soil, light, labor but we've got to solve the social constraints. Most of this kind of production monoculture often entails big companies with a lot of bargaining power. They involve some sort of um, resettlement of people uh, with social responsibility uh, components attached and also may demand some regulation to you know, watch those uh, companies um, in this um, new venture. You need to get right the system of registration of land so that private investors can access the land without all the controversy that often follows from that. The second thing um, that we need to, to get is, is regulation. We need to look at the legislation, make it simpler so that investors could um, be attracted um, to the Mozambican market. The third thing that I think is very important is provision of basic public goods. Companies, investors usually need some basic things. Roads, electricity, communication, and those are primarily supplied by the government. Private sector might invest on top of that for their own specific needs, but you have to have basic infrastructure in place. If you can get this right, the impact will be massive. Half of people in Mozambique work in the sugar industry. So this means more jobs, much more jobs to Mozambique, while at the same time providing feedstock for ethanol production to South Africa. So this is a win-win situation. And the region will win because we're going green. We're reducing carbon emissions. Mm -hmm.